introduce her. So for this, let me call on our academic manager, who is also an inspiring educator and achiever herself, Ma Maria Rebecca Aisha Birai, for the guest speaker introductions. Bachelor's degree in secondary education major in English from Central Zone State University in 1992. Um, Mom Fatima embarked on a fulfilling teaching career at the same university and then she later earned her master's degree uh, in art studies from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, in 2008. In 2013, Mom Fatima seized an overseas employment opportunity and has since been contributing her expertise to the Wake Institute for Scientific Research. With over 20 years of experience in the academia, she is a seasoned educator, known for her passion for art and social science research. Her keen interest in exploring diverse cultures and communities has led her to publish two poetry books. The first one entitled, Poems Woven for OFWs. The second one, Cathartis Purple Sky in Quake in 2019 and in 2023, respectively. She also rendered her experience and um, expertise, I should say, to ICSA, and she's currently collaborating on a book on English enhancement with ICSA instructors, uh, me, yours truly, Miss Adorashon, and also Miss Marcel here beside me. Beyond her academic pursuits, uh, on a lighter note, she's an avid enthusiast of documentaries, Bollywood films, and Korean novellas, which she finally refers as Kate Rapi, which has helped her during the COVID days. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great, great pleasure that we welcome our distinguished guest speaker for today's memorable occasion, Ma'am Fatima Celaran Cruz. Reached 
the pinnacle of your academic journey. And your presence in this occasion, look at you in your dashing and the fashionable outfit. And few of you are wearing their elegant graduation regalia. So your presence in this occasion is a visual testament of your academic success. Congratulations. Thank you, ICSA management, for this opportunity to address this 2023-2024 graduating class. And I must admit, doing public speaking is one of the things I am excited about. I remember it is exactly 10 years ago when I had my first invitation from this same institute and for the same purpose. True enough, history, or should I say, her, her story repeats itself. At times, I would say that I am overshadowed by my own unworthiness. But today, that feeling of unworthiness is changed into a new two. Today's occasion could be the rightful platform for me in my modest capacity to be that small voice that could perhaps play a pivotal role to many of you, if not all. Hence, I feel privileged to do so. I'd like to share a famous line from one of the most influential voices one of my favorites in the history of America and whose iconic speeches changed the world. Martin Luther King Jr. Are you familiar with the name? Does it uh, ring a bell? Okay, good. If a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets in the Bible, okay? I repeat, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. What is the relevance of this quote to this commencement theme? Embracing excellence and pioneering paths towards success. The answer is very simple. Doing your best. Embracing excellence means you should be the best of whatever or whoever you are, and whatever or whoever you can be. Excellence can be exercised in any and every type of work. Whatever your life's work or occupation is, or any talent that you have, do it well. Even, I know most of us here, right? Even if your or our work does not fall in the category of the so-called big professions, do it well. Whatever that endeavor is, always put your best foot forward. Be proud of a job well done. Like today, as you reached the defining milestone of your chosen career path, of course, with ICSA as your pillar of support and partner to success. Peace be. Thank you. Our battle cry for excellence is not limited to being the best only in academics, but you can be excellent in, what, in whatever you do and in whatever direction you take. Who knows? You might be the best swimmer, 
best entrepreneur, best parent or spouse, best actor, or somebody else's best friend. <laughs> Excellence is related to how much you could maximize your skills and capacities and not just content with the bare minimum of what you can. When doing a task or a chore, or taking on a responsibility, you go the extra mile. Excellence, therefore, is more of an attitude because it involves good behavior coupled with moral responsibility. Excellence emanates from a personal perspective in the sense that when you're able to achieve something excellent in any domain, that feeling of satisfaction becomes heavenly or indescribable. In a little while, you will be receiving your awareness of graduation, but don't stop here. This shouldn't be a dead end. Being a plain visionary will not land you anywhere. Rather, start to wear a self-driven personality and be goal-oriented. You have to find many in your work, more so in your existence. Create a difference which could eventually be your landmark, your legacy. However, life is not always a bed of roses. Life may offer us opportunities or risk, but there is a saying, and I'd like to quote, the biggest regrets in life are the risks that we opted not to take. As a piece of advice, arm yourself with more academic opportunities. Study further while you can. Explore the other possibilities and use your full potentials, like what Sir Amir addressed to everyone. And whatever you choose to be, always endeavor for excellence. Okay, vitamin E, excellence. Aim bigger and higher, especially in the realm of education. Be the best version of yourself that could ever be. Strive for greatness, strive for excellence. Even when there is no prize or recognition, it will come in due time. And when you start to embrace excellence, you come to realize that alongside, you start to sketch your path towards success. Yes, it's true, the path to success is often a long and winding road. Success is also about the journey and it isn't just about reaching the summit. Along this journey would be setbacks, delays, and even unforeseen impediments, let alone failures. Failures are inevitable, but it's how we navigate and it's how we maneuver all these failures and that defines our success. What counts is that ounce of courage that we hold on to and that spirit to keep going despite the many odds. And when bad times come, we can just sigh and confess. It's okay not to be okay. Okay, Jana. <laughs> I know you're familiar with that, but I'm not trying to, you know, uh, advertise, no? Just using all these um, titles and expressions, just to keep the music here alive. At some point in our lives, we are bound to stumble and fall. Or worst, we might have got screwed or must have reached the edge of the cliff, so to say. Remember, behind every cloud is a silver lining. A silver lining is a metaphor for optimism. Whatever situations we are entangled in right now, and for as long as we defy the dark clouds which could eclipse us, and the storms of life that could defeat us, the great potential of success lies ahead 
somewhere, somewhere close enough, somewhere, somewhere within our reach. Giving up shouldn't be and should never be part of your and our vocabulary. Okay, Tayo? Is that okay? Yes. And if one day someone comes to you and asks, did you do your best? Yes. Of course. What answer you'll give? Yes. yes, of course. Confidently, you can answer that someone and say, yes, I have done my best. Not halfway, not half done. As Oprah Winfrey said, and I quote and unquote, when you are excellent, you become unforgettable, regardless of what it is. People will remember you, and you stand out. So this is what we all want. Agree or agree? Agree. agree. No choice of disagree, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be unforgettable and not the other way around. On the brighter side, I can only imagine the pride and joy you graduating students must be feeling right now. Sooner, you're about to unleash yourself on the world with all its unpredictability. Still, learn to withstand those uncertainties. Again, I reiterate, do your best against all odds and be the best version of yourself. Before I finally wrap up, I call the whole graduating class to please rise. Please rise, the whole graduating class, 2023, 2024. Right? So let's loosen up a bit and let's do a little hand exercise. I need your participation, so please, whatever I say, just follow. Ready? Yes. Raise your right hand, please. Raise your right hand, and then touch your left shoulder. Okay? Tap it twice, and while tapping it twice, say to yourself, job well done. Let's do it. One, two, three. Go. One, two, three. Job, job well done. done. Another, another. You have, it has to be simultaneous, okay? While tapping your left shoulder with three, three times, then you say, job well done. Again. Job, job well, well done. done. Again, one more, once more. Job, job well, well done. done. Once more. Job, job well, well done. done. Thank you. A generous round of applause. So a generous round of applause to all the graduating students, to their proud loved ones, and to the ICSA team alike. Congratulations, Chukha Hamida. Thank you, Kamsamida.